Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video it is a match preview but also a match reaction. Now in today's video I will be giving you guys my thoughts on the Blackburn game from the weekend and also my thoughts on this upcoming game against Swansea. So let's talk about the Blackburn game on the weekend. Now against Blackburn I think a lot of Luton fans you know we're going to be hard done by the fact that we didn't walk away with three points. Now, I didn't go to the game, but I've read the match report. I've seen what other fans have said online, and it does look like we just didn't, you know, take advantage of Blackburn having two key players out. Yes, we did have Ali Bayo out, and yeah, that definitely would have made a big difference in the way we go forward. But I still think that we should have taken most of that opportunity with Blackburn without their two main players. Now, we did have chances. We had two ch big chances in the first half. One fell to Jerome. Onya Dimmer did brilliantly down on the right-hand side to play him in. He hit the post. And then Naismith, he should have done better with his opportunity as well. But overall, not many clear-cut chances throughout the whole game. But it was a good performance. Well, I say good performance. I say it, it, was, it wasn't a bad performance, but it, it just wasn't an amazing performance like we've already seen so far this season. You know... Like I said, Blackburn were basically there for the taking. We didn't really take full advantage of them having two of their key players out. And unfortunately, we just walk away with a draw. You know, on paper, it looks like a good result because Blackburn are second in the league. But I think we're quite even with Blackburn. I think, you know, our players, you know, they're quite even in terms of um, ability-wise. So I think a lot of Luton fans... Um, and me just obviously reading of what happened, you know, we're quite disappointed that we didn't get the three points at home to Blackburn. But anyway, we do move on to this game against Swansea and hopefully our main striker is back. Ali Bayo is back for this game against Swansea because without him, we will struggle because he does provide the goals. And unfortunately, we need other players around him to step up, to get goals as well. We can't just keep relying on Ali Bayo because once he gets injured, like he has done, you know, we need players to step up. It's good that Cornick's now back. You know, he got 20 minutes against Blackburn, which is great to see. You know, he's been out for quite a while now with an injury. So if we can get him firing, that would be great. We need the likes of Jerome to start scoring. Hilton, if he stays at the club, we still are in the January transfer window. Today, in fact, is the last day. It is, you know, the January transfer window deadline day today. And if Luton do sign anyone, I will make another video um, tomorrow. Um, it, it's going to be so confusing when we're going to be announcing players and I'm just uploading a match preview. It's just, it's so hard to upload videos when there's so many, like, you know, so much information coming out on social media and so many good video ideas to make. But anyway... Hopefully, Ali Bayo is back. You know, that is the main concern, I think. Um, if he isn't back, I don't know where the goals are going to come from. We need players, like I, I keep saying, like we need players to step up. The likes of Onya Dimma, we need him to score more. Masway, we need him to hit the ground running. Maybe give Mendes Gomez a go. Nathan Jones, I think he's been hard done by um, Mendes Gomez. I think maybe he needs to improve um, off the pitch first before... Like in a match scenario, I'm not too sure. I think we're taking our time with Mendes Gomez. Maybe we need to get him up to speed and it's just taking a little bit of a while to do that. I'm not too sure, but we need players to step up. You know, in the midfield, we need more goals from them. Yes, we've got goals from Berry, but we need goals from Ruddock, Lansbury, you know, Campbell. We need more. We, we just need more goals because, um, like I keep saying, we can't rely on Adebayo. But we move on to this game against Swansea and I think... Compared to the last game we played against Swansea in that free all draw, we need to get some revenge because, like I always say, like if you go ahead at home, you know, two, three nil up, there's no excuse to drop points. And um, we drop points when we are three nil up against Swansea. And, you know, a great away day for Swansea fans, not such a good day for, um, obviously, the home fans at Luton. So, fingers crossed, the same thing does not happen again because that I don't think. <laughs> that, uh, I just don't I, I wouldn't know what would Nathan do if that was to happen again and what certain fans would do if that have like if that happened again it was just such a disappointing second half performance you know we just sat back and let Swansea attack us and then they eventually just got the goals now Swansea I don't think I think like they were expected a much better you know run of form much better league position since 
hiring Russell Martin and I would agree with them you know I felt like they should have been a lot higher up in the table they do play possession based football Russell Martin he loves playing the ball on the floor he loves passing he loves keeping the ball you know so it is going to be a game which I think Luton the Luton players are going to be up for it you know we like playing against teams that like to play football and it's going to be an interesting one I definitely think Swansea will keep the majority of their of the possession you know I think they I think there's a stat out there that they've completed the most passes you know and yeah I just expect them to just dictate the play and us to take the advantage from set pieces because I do think we're dangerous from them and also on counter attacks as well so we, we are going to rely on our pace and hopefully our pace can cause Swansea so many problems you know we've got Onya Dimma we've got Mendes Gomez we've got Musway we've got Cornick you know we've got players that can cause Swansea problems you know and look at our fullbacks as well Bell and Bree we need them to push forward as well and cause some problems down on the flanks so Fingers crossed we can do that. Defensively, I'm not really fussed. I'm not really worried because I feel like recently that like, we are defending quite well. I thought even though we conceded against Bristol City, we still defended well against them. I didn't think they looked like they were going to score. They literally scored from a mistake, an individual error. That's how they scored. And then against Blackburn, I think if that game went on for another 30, 40 minutes. I still don't think Blackburn would have scored so defensively i don't think it's a problem it's just going forward for me we need to create chances you know i feel like we should we need well i feel like we need to take points away against swansea this is our game in hand as well and if we can get something against swansea then you know we can push up the table and you know nathan and the board they've all come out and said that you know the playoffs it is a target and it was a target at the start of the season so if it is then let's we need to get points, you know. We need to grind out results and we need to get points away to Swansea. But regarding to my start at 11, it's going to be interesting to see who starts. And I really wish, well, I really hope Adebayo is back into the side. I hope Clark is fit and available. Bradley as well. I know defensively, you know, we're, we're quite solid. But Bradley, I feel like, makes a massive difference in our defence. And yeah, if we can get those key players back into the side, then fingers crossed, you know, things are going to go up for us. But um, as I mentioned already, we are in transfer deadline day. We are in the last um, day in January and Luton haven't made any signings yet. Do I think we'll make some signings? Yeah, I do think I'm expecting one or two loan players to come in. Fingers crossed they do. I feel like we need an attacking player. Also, someone in the field. We look like we're going to get a goalkeeper. Saluga looks like he's heading out as well. So, I will be making videos on all of this, guys. Don't you worry about that. But, yeah, it's going to be an entertaining day for sure. But, guys, for this video, make sure you comment down below your score predictions, your starting 11s, and your thoughts heading into this Swansea game. I'm hoping we can get the three points, but I feel like without our main man up top, I can't see us getting the three points, but I can see us getting something. So if Adebayo starts, I'm going to go with a 2-1 win. If he obviously doesn't start, I'm going to go with a 0-0 draw. So yes, guys, as I mentioned, let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.